people get things wrong all the time. And people, the, the modern day now, and this leads to a good, a good little transition. Welcome professional hosting. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. With the internet, mm -hmm. one person says something of kind of credibility, and then boom, it's taken and then spun in how they see or read it, how yeah. they understood it, which might not be accurate. It was just kind of they're taking it and then it's completely yep. gone. And then whenever it gets reported or caught on to by, maybe by somebody that has a, a big microphone, it's already been at this, you know, mm -hmm. it's already yep. all the way over here mm -hmm. when it started over here. Like this Dalton Schultz thing is wild. Yes. Absurd. It is wild, you know, and I feel bad about it because I was very thankful that Dalton Schultz came on a program. That was the first time on a program. Yeah. Now, he's a gamer nerd. Oh, yeah. Like, through and through. This guy's building computers. He's got oh, a full yeah. setup. And he, I think he knows the program. Like, I'm very appreciative of that. Gave us a great conversation. Yeah. fantastic. So he described being a Dallas Cowboy, you know, and obviously we all know it's different being a Dallas Cowboy than any other team. But he talked about being a Dallas Cowboy, and he talked about being in the gym. And he talked about how there's a one-way mirror with people that pay to kind of do tours. It's a zoo, he said, pretty much. The way he was describing is like he felt like a zoo animal is how I took it whenever he said it mm -hmm. in the moment. But when they describe the Dallas Cowboys organization, they call it the entire organization zoo, as opposed to I think what he was referring to as zoo animal. Yeah, people tapping on the glass, For sure, and, yeah. Yeah. trying to get they, your attention. Mm -hmm. Like when you go to Indianapolis Zoo and you see the orangutan, exactly, and you try to make eye contact, yep. and then it looks at you and it says, "Get me out of here! Please help me! <laughs> Please get me out!" Yeah. Anyways, here's Dalton Schultz yesterday and what he said about the Dallas Cowboys, and uh, I think he got taken out of context a bit by a lot of people. You enjoyed your time in Dallas. I'm not going to say that. But, like, yeah. when you get yeah, to Houston, is it vastly different than your time in Dallas whenever you're talking yeah, about sure. all the off the field? Is it? Is that real? Is that yeah. Real? No, it, it's that was one of the first things that kind of stuck out to me is, like, it feels like much more – I don't want to say college because it's not. But, like, the focus is just – football you know what I mean and, and <laughs> going back and like telling some people like how kind of being around the Cowboys like practice facility and you know game day um, describing some of the interactions and stuff that you see on a day-to-day -day basis like surprised a lot of people they're like holy crap like that actually happens like at a practice facility and like you know it's just you think it's normal and then you come to a place like, like this. what like what like what you don't have to out anything but like what are you what? no dude it's just like you there's people literally going on tours um, while you're listening in the weight room and they've got like a one way, they've got a one way mirror for people to like, look at, like, it's literally, it's a zoo, dude. <laughs> There's people tapping on the glass, like trying to get people's attention as they're doing, you know, power cleans or whatnot. And it's just, it's different. And, and I mean, that's the brand that they've built. That's, you know, that's what Jerry Jones likes. That's the way that they run things. And there's nothing wrong. So I think what he was saying is like that particular situation. Yes. Right. But they were using it as like the entire Dallas Cowboys. The a building's lot, a zoo. Yeah. yeah a lot of I don't, th I, I would just like to clear up for Dalton, even though he did not ask us to do this. I'm doing this because I kind of feel bad that he's kind of got tossed into this. I don't think Dalton was burying the entire no, organization. I think he was all. talking about that particular yep. situation right there. And he said he enjoyed his time and everything like that. And so I, I just, I felt bad that it started happening, but the Dallas Cowboys culture is certainly something we're learning a lot about. And I did not expect to hear that random people can walk by your workout where like those workouts get pretty, there's people, hey, mm -hmm. you know, like you're not, after it. you're not necessarily in like your best form. You know, you're like got cut off. Like there, you got to probably be, I got to, I'm putting on a show almost. You yeah. feel like that's yep. an interesting, you got to be a cowboy. I think if you're not like a Dallas cowboy type where like, Hey, you're on display in certain different times where you're not other places. Like, I don't think it's going to work out. Dalton didn't say it didn't work out for him. Obviously he ends up with the Houston mm -hmm. Texans afterwards has a 36, but he's a good player. Yes. Like, yeah. And a lot of people were saying, he's saying that because Ferguson's good. It's like, I don't think I didn't get that sense at all. No, no, no. He was just describing his life. So I just wanted to kind of clarify that from our, our, our perspective. Yeah. And from everything we've heard, like that's what you expect the Cowboys with the practice facility anyone can buy those we always used to say like well could the Eagles buy one of these boxes and that's just that's the way it is with the Cowboys that's why they're the most uh you know like the the most valuable, valuable franchise mm -hmm. in all of sports yeah